So I have just hit 250 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing, and I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. Before we get to the actual celebration part, what we're going to be doing is going over an image magic script called Arch Paper Maker. And what that basically is, is a script that will let you turn any wallpaper into an Arch Linux wallpaper, so you can just flex on people anywhere you go. And I'm also going to show you how to just switch out the image, so if you want to use it for like Ubuntu or some other distro, that's also available. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers now and any help will be really appreciated. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So. What we've got here is Arch Paper Maker. It's a little script on GitHub that is licensed under what I would say is objectively the best license name I have ever seen. I'm not going to read it out because I want my channel to have a good CPM when I can get a CPM. So you can read that and enjoy it for yourself. But basically, this is a very, very simple script. All it'll do is you can do this in like GIMP or anything yourself, but it'll automate this process for you. It basically will take an Arch logo and then apply some like Gaussian blur to it and stick it onto a, another wallpaper that you pass into it. So it has some examples on here. I've got some examples that I've made up and I'll also show you that obviously you can just replace this image with anything else. So if you wanna use this for say, I don't know, Debian or Ubuntu or anything else, I'll just show you what that looks like and yeah, then at the end of the video, we'll go on to the 250 subscriber special. So, this is what this basically looks like. You got this normal looking wallpaper here, and then you just stick an Arch logo on it. So if you want to tell the world, I am an Arch Linux user, and you should bow before me, you can do that. So, this got this like nice landscape here, this old Windows, is that Windows XP's wallpaper? I think it was. Vista? No, XP sounds right. And you can just stick an Arch logo on it. Or you got this nice view of the sunset and you just stick an Arch logo on it. So the only dependency for this is Image Magic. So if you've got that installed, then you'll be just fine. But if you don't, it's not too big of a download and it's pretty useful and you can do some cool stuff with it. I might do a separate video on Image Magic. But basically what it is, is a command line image editing tool. So yeah, let's just have a look at some of the examples that I've made up beforehand because it will spin up my CPU pretty hard because Image Magic tends to do that occasionally on my laptop. But here are some of the ones that I have made up earlier. So you got this nice anime wallpaper with an arch logo on it. You got this other one. Not a big fan of this one because you got the girl in the center there and it kind of... Actually, can I turn my webcam off? I don't remember if I've got a key for that. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. You got the uh, poly bar up at the top, so it's not as perfect as it could be, but anyway. Yeah, this is another one. I'm not a big fan of having the uh, the girl in the center there. It kind of just throws it off. If it's off to the side, it looks nice, like that first one. I like this. This actually looks nice. I kind of want to use that as my wallpaper. And we've got some other ones. Once again, I probably should have picked some better pictures. And this is another one. I, I don't know. I feel like this one's nice. The logo's a little large on... The, oh no, I'm just zoomed in really far. Ign ignore me, I just have no idea what I'm talking about. So the, it wasn't a big logo, it was just zoomed in. <laughs> anyway, this is what this one looks like. I think that looks nice. And now we're back to the start. I didn't have many set up. So I've got my picture ready now. It's got this awful name, but this is what it looks like without the logo on it. So it's a nice winter wallpaper for all you guys who aren't dying in the heat right now like I am in Australia, but... I don't know, maybe this will cool me down a little bit. So if we want to run this, I've just got it in my scripts folder, but the script itself is called me page maker, which is a, probably a really confusing name compared to what the actual repo was called. I just opened up something I wasn't supposed to open. Anyway, this one. So me pape maker dot sh. It's a very simple script. Pretty much what it does is you can see here, it'll get the height of the image, and the height of, sorry, the height of the uh, the logo, I mean. No, that is the height of the image. Yeah, yeah, that's the height of the image and the width of the image. Then it'll get the logo. Then basically it will just take the uh, mask, or make a mask of the image, stick it on the thing. And then, yeah, nothing too special about it. It'll apply some like Gaussian blur and stuff to it, I believe. And basically it'll just spit out another image. So if we want to run that, 
M-E. I think this script doesn't work perfectly, so I think we actually need to be in the same folder, which isn't for the best, but it'll work. So then the name of it is, what is the name? I can't, it's underscores, right, there we go. And this will take a couple of seconds and hopefully it works fine and doesn't freeze up my camera. Okay, that actually worked kind of fine. And then we've got this one here. Is this the new one? Yes. That looks kind of nice. I will move my webcam. Yeah, I like that. So if I want to set that as my wallpaper, this is what it looks like as my wallpaper. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. If I want to tell everyone that I'm using Arch, this is a way I can do it. So I did say that you can also just replace that image. So I'll show you guys what that looks like with something like Debian, for example. So off camera, all I've done is basically gone and found a Debian logo, then did the same thing to it. So I've made it all black. It's basically the same size as the Arch logo was as well, just so it looks pretty similar. And then off camera, I ran it and generated the new picture. So now it looks like this. So, hey, if you want to use it for any other distros, you can. Obviously, you could go and modify the script to change it from Arch to something like Deb or... I don't know, Ubuntu or whatever distro you're running, you could use this script to actually make wallpapers for that. But the only people who would actually really care about their distro enough to actually go and make a wallpaper about it are probably Arch users. So, hey, the option's there for anyone else, but you're probably not going to do it. So that's pretty much everything for that then. So this is just my wallpaper back here. You probably couldn't even tell because I've got the poly bar up there that that was fair and not my actual wallpaper. I should probably fix the thing with Polybar, but I'll get to that at some point. So now we're gonna switch over to the 250 special, and I'm gonna talk about basically something that's been uh, slightly bugging some people on this channel. We'll address the, uh, the elephant in the room. Okay, so you might notice a couple of folders on here. We're only gonna go through the one on the right because I haven't got really anything too fun on the one on the left. So there have been a lot of people who have been uh, addressing the beard. So let's have a look through some of the great comments that I've been getting and just enjoy the fun. So we've got this one here from, where did, where did that go? There we go. So what is that on and around your face? That would be alpha energy. Hmm. So, Next up we got, oh my god, you do not want to keep that beard, it doesn't look good. But, but my channel is good, so, hey, I guess there's that as well, so, thank you for subscribing. But, you know what, I'm keeping the beard, so, hey, not my problem. We've got this one here, Dissident Bones, you'd so much better without that beard. And I responded with, nah. Because that is the true Australian way of just ending the conversation. You don't want to talk to someone? Nah. You don't want to You don't want to go do something? Nah. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Oh, no, this was actually a, uh, a po the one positive comment I got about my beard. Uh, Nietzsche was also criticized for his beard, I guess. Lol. I agree with what you said. Hey, I guess that's... That's an ego boost. I took a couple of these like a few weeks ago, but we're gonna get some of the newer ones in a couple of seconds. So, oh, this is actually a really old one from actually a mate of mine from uni. So my beard doesn't affect anyone else. Mm, actually, it hurts my eyes. And I responded with the great comment, stop caressing my chin then, which I still fully agree with. If you don't like the beard and it hurts your eyes, then stop getting so close to it. It's not that long. Uh, uh, here we go. This actually, it's sort of another positive one, sort of another negative one. I don't know. So, dude, that beard, it's too edgy, even for a Linux nerd. And I responded with, people will learn to get used to it since it's not going anywhere. But I have decided that under some certain conditions, I will remove the beard. And I'm sure that you guys will love the conditions. So make sure you stick around for a couple of minutes when I actually talk about those. So we've got this one. This was a very recent one. Your beard so ugly. I never seen ugly like this. And I wanted to respond with something else that you could probably, probably guess. But considering YouTube's new terms of service, uh, I don't really feel like getting my channel yeeted. So I'm not going to say that one. So someone's just salty that they can't grow a beard. And that seems to be the fairly accurate point. The only people who have a problem with my beard are the ones who can't grow beards for themselves. So if that's you, then hey. 
And you know what? I'll actually give some props to you because this was actually a uh, a good comment. I was talking, this was from the um, Xorg X input video, and I was talking about how to enable and disable input devices, and this person responded with, you need to re-enable the trimmer. I'll give you props for that, that's actually a good comment, so. <laughs> but the rest of them, like, what is this? Your beard's so ugly. Come on, let's put some effort into it. I've heard that plenty of times before. You're not the only one who's said that. And now we are back to the start, so we're back to the upper energy. So, I have decided that under certain conditions, I will remove the beard, and I'm sure you're gonna love these conditions. So, I'm gonna start up a new Patreon tier, right? I've already got one, I think it's for like $100, which is just, I put it there because $100 is a nice round number. So, I've decided that for, drum roll, that is the worst drum roll I've ever done, I will remove the beard for $10,000 a month. And you might be saying, isn't that basically saying that you're not going to remove the beard because there's not really any Linux channels that even make that much? And you would be completely right, because the beard is none of your business. If you don't like it, don't watch the videos. If you don't want to see it, feel free to listen to the videos and just not look at my webcam. But you know what? I'm not removing it. So, hey, I'm going to keep the beard until it just becomes a marketing tool for me because the more people that complain about it, the more that it becomes, hey, look at that dude over there. He's the weird Linux guy who has the beard. Hey, look at him. He's that Linux dude who has the beard. It's a marketing tool, so I'm not going to remove it because that would be a way to kill my channel. The more people who talk about the beard and the more people who complain about the beard, are honestly, you're just helping the channel. So, it's staying <laughs> and you can learn to get used to it or you can stop watching. But hey, I don't think there's anyone who actually cares about the beard that much that it really bothers them. I think that these people are just trying to get under my skin, but you know what? You wouldn't be the first people who've tried to actually tell me the beard's terrible. And you know what? I don't really care because someone who has a far better beard than I do thinks the beard looks nice. Shout out to Isaac Butterfield. He is an absolute legend. So since that's the case, the beard's staying. I don't care about your comments. I'm going to keep compiling them. Maybe for a thousand, we'll do another video like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll have some hate comments by then and we can go through those. But yeah, we'll save those for later. So thank you for 250 subscribers. It is absolutely amazing that that's happened. I honestly, early on, I was not expecting that to happen because I, for so long, I just wasn't getting subscribers. I was at 20 or 30 subscribers for a good, I reckon, two months, and then something happened. I don't know what happened. I think, I know that I started improving my thumbnails and my actual titles because of something that I made of mine, Tamor said. His link will be down below, so go check him out. He actually makes really, really good videos. He is a much harder worker than I am. He doesn't seem like it from his YouTube videos because he does a lot of stuff outside of YouTube. His upload schedule is gonna get better though, so just go check him out because he is an awesome guy and he makes really, really awesome content. But anyway, so for the longest time, I just wasn't getting subscribers, and then something happened, and I've mentioned this on Twitter before, but in the last 30 days, I have gained literally more than half my subscribers. So I think right now I am, at least as the recording, I'm recording this a bit before I hit 250, I'm at like 240 right now, I gained, 135 in the last 30 days, which is insane. I'm only a channel that has 250 subs and my channel has grown that much. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's Christmas that's done it or anything else that's done it. Something has made my channel just completely explode and I really hope that it continues. So I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and I hope you guys stick around because the content is just going to keep getting better and better. I'm going to improve my lighting. I know the lighting is a mess back there. I'm going to improve my video content because the content is the most important. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to try to spend more time actually learning about the stuff I'm talking about and hopefully you guys enjoy the content because I really do enjoy making it and I have absolutely no plans to stop anytime soon. We're going to race straight to a thousand and we're going to keep going from there. And 
hopefully one day I can make like a living from this and dedicate as much time as possible because I've got some ideas that I want to follow and I just don't have the time for them. Like I want to do a podcast at some point, but when uni starts up again, I just won't have time for it. Maybe after I finish uni, I do want to take a gap year. We'll see what happens there. Maybe I do a podcast in a year's time from now, but I don't know. We'll work that out as the time comes and hopefully I can actually find a co-host to do it with because that would be awesome. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video now. I could probably talk about how happy I am for hitting 250 for honestly hours but I don't want to bore you guys with that and it is really really hot today and I kind of just want to stop and have a drink. <laughs> so if you like this video remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and ding the bell icon down below because it will really help the channel out. Up on that corner I've got the playlist that there's videos in. I don't know what playlist it'll be in, but I reckon I'm going to make this my new channel trailer so we can remove the old terrible video that was there. So, yeah, basically, that was a ter- I don't know why people watch that video, it's so bad. Anyway. <laughs> Down below I've got my Discord, so if you want to chat with me, go there and I'll be there most days. I've also got my library, so if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube, you can also go there. And also I've got my support link, so if you want to support me, get me to that 10,000 so we can actually shave the beard. <laughs> it's never going to happen. I, I'm not shaving the beard, basically. So, anyway, if you do want to support the channel, though, feel free to do that. But all my videos will remain available for free, so don't actually worry about it if you really don't want to. So down below, I've also got my Twitter and my Mastodon, so if you actually want to get video updates, go there because YouTube just can't be trusted to push them to anyone. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. I'm going to go somewhere that is cooler, and I'm out.